Hello everybody, it's Tanya from Dolly D's Nursery. Oh, we have a full crib here and another one on a change table, another one out in my workstation. Um, but anyway, as you know, if you have seen my previous videos, I just attended a um, an arts and craft um, show where I had a booth with Reborns and I have five here um, that did not sell and are looking for mommies and daddies In and then also I have Little Smiles now he has a body plate with boy parts and he is a different price as well as Jamie, who is out in my bark station, <laughs> all stripped off because I was taking natural light photos for someone. So yeah, so we have lots of babies. And of course, there's Rosie and she has these cute boots on. Um, I got those at the show. And uh, it's someone local who makes them. She only lives about half hour from me. So I just might partner with her to um, occasionally have those to go with the Reborns that I make. For customs, that is, not just uh, ready-made. And so, and of course, little Ruthie, Ruthie Nan. She's my very first doll I ever made. And Darcy is back there, snuggled in. This is the Lexi kit, uh, reborn by Delightful Reborns. And she is still available. Um, but anyway, I will go ahead and, of course, my keeper. This is Ethan. He was reborn by Renee McIntosh from Studios of Ren Renee Mac in Winnipeg, Canada. And this is the little girl that I just sculpted myself. So she's clay. That is hope. But anyway, let me get back to what I was doing. I'm going to show you individually who is available for adoption. So let, let's get you on my tripod here. Okay, here we have... I feel like I have my tripod so far away from my change table. This is Aisha. Aisha is done with the uh, biracial Aisha kit from Bountiful Baby. And she has rooted hair. I was very careful to just get the one hair per follicle which is pretty much what I always do. And I just love the skin texture that I give. I don't know if you can see it here. There it is. It almost looks like pores. I don't have my flash on. <laughs> but anyway, um, I didn't want to uh, overexpose. Anyway, this is Aisha and uh, has rooted hair, rooted eyelashes, painted eyebrows. She does have a magnet in her mouth, so she's ready for a pacifier. And she does have closed fists. She is three quarter limbs. And she's no longer in her Christmas outfit because someone asked me to take more photos. So I took that opportunity to change her into this gorgeous little, um, where I got it from Baby's R Us. So this gorgeous koala, is it? Koala baby. So there she is. And uh, I will have more photos uh, of each one on my Facebook page. 
So I'll just tell you her, her specifics. She is Aisha by Marissa May. And she is 19 inches long and she weighs four pounds. I will say she, but obviously a cloth body, so it can be he or she. Weighs at four pounds and two ounces. And uh, wears newborn size clothes. And Aisha is 500 Canadian and 400 USD. So that's her price. It's uh, free shipping to Canada and US. And uh, she will come with a regular box opening. So she'll have two outfits, a sleeper, a blanket, her pacifier, a bottle, a toy, and diapers. And her Dolly Days Nursery um, onesie. I couldn't think of the word then. <laughs> yeah, so, and she comes with her hospital bracelet and as well her, oh, that's the wrong one. It's gone off to a different one now. And her, um, what did I just do with it? Her birth certificate. There, right there. That's her birth certificate. Ready to put the baby's name on and the gender. So she is available looking for a home. I will get the next baby. Here's our next baby looking for a home. And this is Juliet. Juliet is also sculpted by Marissa May. Now, Juliet comes as a Caucasian um, natural color vinyl. And I mixed my own colors to achieve this African American deep skin tone. So um, she has, her, she still has her little tag on. And uh, she is 400 USD as well, but 500 Canadian. She is 20 inches long and weighs six pounds and one ounce. So she's a gorgeous girl. She's got her hospital bracelet. And let's see here if I can. There, there's her little foot and her little toes. She is also three quarter limbs. Oops. She's also three quarter limbs and she's on a jointed body. So it really makes good for sitting and posing. And she's got her, am I? Yep. Am I in the frame? <laughs> she's got her little fists together. Let's come up here a little closer. There she is. Oh, focus. There she is. She's got her rooted eyelashes and her rooted hair. Look at all those curls. <laughs> and her brown eyes. And her gorgeous lips. And she's got a buckle here that's going squish. There. So that is Juliet. Now she will come with this outfit as well. Like I said to him, the others, they'll all come with their Christmas outfit because that's what they were displayed wearing at the show. Oops. And uh, as well as will come with another outfit and another sleeper and her magnet pacifier as well as diapers and a toy.
toy and a blanket. Um, they all have Christmas, special Christmas blankets. So, um, and of course, I always put treats in. <laughs> always, always. So, yeah, she will come with her hospital bracelet. I did, didn't mention, but I do have the care instructions as well. Um, and they all get their birth certificate. So, just waiting for a name and a gender to be decided upon. So, yeah, that is Juliet. Let's get another baby. Oh, this is a sleepy little guy. Again, boy or girl. <laughs> Cloth body, three-quarter limbs, and um, on a jointed body as well. So, of course, he can be sat up, but <laughs> who wants to sit sleeping? <laughs> uh, this is, let me get him, this is Kyle. Kyle is sculpted by Pat Moulton. And this guy is so cute. And of course, I can always um, dress as a girl at some point and uh, show how he would look as a girl. But he is gorgeous nonetheless. And Kyle is 22 inches long and weighs 6 pounds and 1 ounce. And this outfit is... I believe it's, I'm not sure if it's marked zero to three or if it's three months. And so he's got his veins. He's got nice size feet. Let's zoom in here. He's got some nice size feet. Right there, it's got his veins and his toes and toenails. So let's pick him up here. Rooted hair. This is a honey, honey brown. I want to say honey brown hair. I didn't comb it down, so it's kind of fly away but let's get you in front of the camera here there he is look at that face so gorgeous painted eyebrows and rooted eyelashes i love his mouth I love his mouth and those little wrinkles on his head <laughs> are so cute this is a um slight curl in the hair so if you really want to style it and give some curls, you can do that as well. and uh, Or you can have it straight. There he is. Oh, let's see some fingers here. There's his little fingers. There's his little fingers and fingernails. Little, uh, little hands. Let's get this way. Little fingers, his hands. Let's get the, those little toes up there, look. So again, from where I'm standing, I can see the, the texture. There we go. Not sure if you can see the oh my gosh from from my angle and the light on his foot I can see the texture as well as the veins and it just looks so freaky <laughs> uh, and we heard that word a lot freaky and with the light here I don't have my flash on so I don't know if you'll see it with the light but I can see veins all over his head um I'll say again when I do my dolls, I do not just squiggle a little vein here and a vein there. Even if I am rooting the whole head, I still do a full head of veins. And I love on the blonde headed ones where you can see, see the veins um, 
the lighting where I was at the show was not good. And I brought extra lighting, but that still didn't help very much. Especially, as you know, with these dolls, they have so many details. And the lighting sucked. It was very poor. So, it, I'm really hoping to get a booth on the floor, main floor, for next year. I do have put in for one. And they also said they were going to suggest to me to move to the floor, so that's good. 90% uh, 90, 90 chance of getting down there next year. But um, I took the dolls and went, uh, I took a walk from where I was and went to the main floor. And uh, the next one that I'll show is the one I took down there. So I'll just uh, I'll continue to share when I bring him over. So just a moment again. Um, still the same price as the others, 500 U uh, 500 Canadian and 400 USD, uh, free shipping to Canada and US and comes with a box, box opening style. So this outfit, another outfit and a sleeper, a toy, the magnet pacifier, a bottle, um, what else? Diapers, a blanket. And I forgot to mention with the others as well, that if they have the rooted hair, they come with a bottle of conditioner and a brush. So let's get the next guy here. Okay, so I took this little guy down on the main floor. And of course, the lighting was superb. It's a stadium. So of course, all the lighting is on uh, for for the whole area of the rink, right? So we're you know, where hockey would be taking place or whatever. And so I took this little guy down with me and oh my gosh, the people who stopped me, uh, were unreal. So this is Corbin and with his blonde hair under the lighting down there, you could see the veins and this, particularly in the back of the head, I think I can see some bluish veining there. And as I'm walking along with him in my arms, everybody is seeing the back of his head, right? <laughs> and his curls were just perfect. They're not so much now. You say, I've been packed up in a suitcase, wrapped in a blanket. <laughs> so, so this is Kyle. And uh, so that's the lighting. It would be so much better if I were, oops, sorry, if I were on the floor and um, I would have more room and I'd be able to basically set up with the change table and, and a cradle and stuff like that, maybe a rocking chair so that as people are coming in around to look, they're actually able to stick around longer um, because I was in the top part of the, um, the stadium which is basically only a walking space and uh, you're overlooking. So it's right up behind the be the bleachers. So that's the space I had. And so there were tons and tons of people coming through, but the problem was they could only step into my table and other people would get held up behind them so they were rushed through really they didn't get too much time to stop and really um, have long conversations about the dolls and let me tell you they were, this was an introduction <laughs> to so many people who had never heard tell of these dolls and um, so I took him down and took him around and it went over really, really well. But, of course, there were people down on the floor who were actually saying, you need to go upstairs and see these real-looking baby dolls. <laughs> um, we had Baby Grinch, and uh, he was a showstopper. So this is Corbin. And he has some great veining, uh, painted eyebrows, rooted eyelashes, and he's got that little dimple right there. <laughs> he's so cute. Or she. 
And the rooted hair, again, um, I try very hard to only have one hair per follicle. Sometimes it might be a few more, um, but never more than two. I usually pluck out what goes in more than two. And um, yeah, so this is Corbin. And he's got some really nice veins. They all do. And nice fingernails. He's got this one little pointer finger. <laughs> he's got that one little pointer finger. He's so cute. So, Corbin... And some nice feet. Oh, let's zoom in here. Some nice little feet there. <laughs> I did the bracelets a little too loose because uh, for the most part they were going on over socks. <sighs> so let's see here. Corbin is sculpted by Linda K. Smith. And he's 21 inches long and five pounds and two ounces. So there's his birth certificate. And um, no mistletoe required. That's his little outfit. I believe that is, let me see what size here. Three months. It's a uh, precious first by Carter's. No mistletoe required. <laughs> And he is 500 Canadian, 400 USD. Free shipping to Canada and US. And again, comes with his magnetic pacifier. Uh, toy, blanket, this outfit, another outfit, a pair of sleepers, and of course, socks. His bracelet, some diapers, a bottle, and of course, goodies from me. From Newfoundland, Canada. And the uh, bottle of conditioner with a brush for his lovely blonde, well, it's not blonde, um, honey brown hair. So that is Corbin. Let's see who else we have. I love her. <laughs> this is Faye Yen. Faye Yen is sculpted by Cindy Musgrove. And she is, or he, is 22 inches, weighs a whopping 8 pounds and 6 ounces. <laughs> oh, that's her birth certificate. And she is adorable. And I have a gorgeous outfit that will come with her. Look at that. Just Look at that. I'm going to dress her in that. Um, so this outfit is three months. And uh, look at her beautiful rooted hair. <laughs> if I can. There she is. Her beautiful hair. She is a chunky girl or boy. <laughs> I left it kind of long. And again, as you can see, the rooting. And, um, oops. And her rooted eyelashes, or his, <laughs> and painted eyebrows. So let's go a little closer there. And her dark eyes are gorgeous, gorgeous veining, and nails there. Am I, am I in there? I can't see. There it is. So, she still has her little tag on. She is 400 USD and 500 Canadian. And she will also come with this outfit, the outfit I just showed you. And what else does she come with? Um, I, ha I already picked this up. 
this gorgeous sleeper. It's unicorns. You even got a unicorn hood. <laughs> um, and her blanket. What else? Let's see. Um, a toy, a magnet pacifier, um, the conditioner for her hair and brush. Let's see what else. See if this can come down over her. I'm going to try to put her into this outfit so you can see her. She's a big girl here. There she is. I like calling her a she, but I was really, I dressed most of them as girls because when people are not used to the reborns, um, they don't realize that they can go boy or girl. And um, one of the things I had a problem with was people thought I was only selling the clothes. And uh, I used to have to kind of catch them before they left my area to say, uh, nope, it's not the clothes, it's the dolls. <laughs> and because people were thinking it was just the clothes, I guess they just thought that it, uh, they weren't used to the dolls. So I will get her dressed to speed up the process and let you see her. Well, before I actually put her into her clothes, I figured I would show her just with her body and her chunkiness, <laughs> her big chunky legs, her little um, chubby feet. <laughs> there she is. Okay, let's get you dressed. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that outfit. So this is Fayin. Now, Fayin, there you go. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous outfit. <laughs> she's got no socks on yet, but she's still gorgeous. So, there you go. Eight pounds and six ounces and 22 inches. And that outfit is a three to six months. Uh, the outfit she had on, um, this Christmas outfit, was three months. So it just depends on the make, the size. Uh, this outfit came, this Christmas outfit came from Carter's. I got it from Carter's online. So there it is. Three months. So... She or he is 500 Canadian, 400 USD, comes with that outfit, this little Christmas outfit, and her sleeper, a blanket, a toy, her pacifier, um, the conditioner and hairbrush, diapers, a bottle, and some little surprises from me. So there you go, friends. Uh, these are the ones that I have available. Uh, you can contact me through my email uh, in the description or um, also through my Facebook page or Instagram. And uh, yeah, so they are available immediately. Um, full payment preferred, PayPal, and um, yeah, so there you go, friends, uh, some beautiful babies available, great in time for Christmas, and, or if you're just looking for that special little baby for your nursery, so take care, everybody, and I hope to hear from someone soon so that they can all find homes before Christmas. Take care, everybody, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.